Okay, in this question, this is question number six on your practice, your math practice on our uh, exam on the website, and that is how to ca calculate a percentage lease or an overage lease, it could be called. Hey folks, welcome back. This is Bill over at the Climber School of Real Estate in Orlando, and uh, this is question number six, so we're going to do question number six on our math practice exam that's found on our website at www.climberrealestateschool.com. You can find the link in the uh, uh, b below. So uh, this is in our, on our website. Question number six says, the business owner negotiates a percentage lease for his business. His base monthly rent is $3,000 per month. When annual gross sales exceed $1 million per year, he agrees to pay an extra 3% of all annual gross sales over this amount. His annual sales were $2 million this year. Hmm. What is his total annual rent? Okay. So I have written this out. And we have everything that is. It's a percentage lease. Now this is an o it could be called an overage lease. So with that, what that means is, is if they make a certain amount of money, they're going to charge them a little extra. But there's another factor in here. You've got a monthly rent, a base rent that they gave you. So they have a $3,000 base rent per month, but they're asking for an annual number. So the first thing I'm going to do is figure out what the base rent is for the whole year because I have to turn this remember to keep your units lined up if they're asking for some annual you're gonna have to turn something monthly into an annual number now we know that there's 12 months in the year so we're gonna multiply that times 12 and that's thirty six thousand dollars now folks that could be the total rent but it's not because they said in the question if they make over a million dollars they're gonna charge three percent over that million dollars now in the question they said the sales were two million dollars so we're gonna to have to figure out how much over a million dollars did they make this is pretty simple here minus the one million gives you one million in sales so they made an extra million dollars over that first million dollars now it says here that they're going to charge a 3% on top of that. So this is what this says right here. So if you make more than a million bucks, which we know we did, they're going to charge a 3%. So let's take that 1 million times 0 0.03 and that gives you, I believe, $30,000. So that is your overage. But wait, that's not it. That's not total because you got this base rent annual because remember we took that monthly number turned it into an annual number but then we have an overage of thirty thousand dollars so we're going to add that to that number there and that's going to give us sixty six thousand dollars so our total annual rent would be sixty six thousand dollars that is what we call a percentage lease or an overage lease. So make sure you practice these folks. Try to keep it simple. Don't overthink these things. My students all know that. I always tell them, don't overthink it, keep it simple. So we really didn't do anything more difficult than do some multiplication, some subtraction, and addition. You just gotta know where the numbers go. So anyway, that is question number six on your practice exam. Just remember, if they're gonna ask you for an annual number, you gotta turn that monthly number into an annual number. Find out how much over the number they gave you, times that times the percentage, and then add them together. And so on this one, it's $66,000. And that would be your total annual rent. All right, listen, you guys enjoy the rest of the uh, videos and make sure you check out our website. It's where these questions are found on our website at www.climberrealestateschool.com. Make sure you like the video down the corner and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next video.